Hey love bugs, it's rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And the video I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. Congrats. Your, your new vibe is a whole mood. But be prepared. Be prepared. Uh, some may reject. It's true. You know, a lot of times when we when we're on that journey of healing, we're allowing ourselves to, you know, see the you know the the positive out of everything that we go through. You're allowing yourself to accept. You're allowing yourself to forgive. Not just you know others, but within yourself. You know, all those different things when you're going through changes, it, it it's just like with us being who we are. We're already triggering. It's like triggering to our surroundings. We even triggering towards ourselves. You know, other people in our tribe. These are different things that's coming up to the surface. And you have to understand the more you start projecting, the more you start allowing yourself to move through your gifts of purpose, it's going to irritate some people's vibrations. It's going to really irritate people's souls. You know, and those are the things that, you know, that's out of your control. You know, a lot of times there are certain people that feel like they need to play small because they, you know, they don't want to make people, you know, hurt. We don't want to make people uncomfortable. You know, and it always make me remind me of that post. And y'all know I already say that all the time when I'm doing different things, it's like certain posts come up and says, you know, when you're vibing, you're glowing up, you're leveling up. There's going to be certain people are going to be irritated by that. But keep glowing, keep growing, keep moving. You know, a lot of times your light is going to be irritated by other people that want to run from their own. Keep projecting your light. You know, keep projecting your healing seeds. You know, these are the things that you're doing. You're dropping hidden gems of what you didn't even realize you can be able to do. You know, a lot of times you can be around with people and, you know, we got so much in common with people. And a lot of times we try to understand why is it the fact that we can have so much in common with people and those relationships don't last. There's some of them that do and some of them that don't. And a lot of times we can take it personal. It's like, why is that person irritated by me? Or there could have been times you were irritated by somebody else's stuff, you know, um, by how come they're getting these vibes and these views and I'm not getting these vibes and these views. But there's a lot of times you got to understand we're all on different paths. We're all on different journeys just because... There's a lot of things that universe and God drops into your vibration that only you can see. And that can irritate a lot of people, you know, because they're still on their journey. There's a lot of times, uh, oh Lord, thank you. <laughs> There's a lot of times, like, as soon as I start talking about something, my nose will start tingling when it's like, okay, you're on the right vibe. You know, um, we're all healing. We're all growing. You know, there'll be different times that we may be envious of somebody else because, you know of their light or or their the way they speak the way they move the way they're confident about different things in your life you know they were like well, you know there'll be some of y'all like girl i don't know how you be putting these videos out and how you don't be nervous who never said i was nervous <laughs> there'll be just certain things that universe will guide me to talk about that i've gone through and i'm like Ugh, wait a minute because i'm not trying to make this about me i'm not trying to make this about somebody that pissed me off or somebody who did something to me i'm not trying to do that and they said, you have confidence in yourself. You can make a video about your experience without having to pinpoint what somebody's done to you. This is something that you have overcome. This is something that you have healed from. Somebody's going to need that cheat sheet. You know, because they may be going through some things and they don't see a way out of that. And this is how we get our lesson and blessings by the people that we're, we, you know, we connect with. You know, and these are the things. This is how we grow. This is that time. You can't play timid with yourself you know because there's a lot of times we did that just to ease somebody else we made ourselves uncomfortable but make other people comfortable and i'm at that vibration like you want me to play small just because you want to get empowered by big by making me play small no if you don't got used to that you might as well go ahead and cut that con that connection off because i'm not about to do that you know 
And I used to be that type of person that, you know, I'll see a post that really hit me to the core. And that was that truth of reality I had to be able to digest. And I'm like, I'm like oh, I don't want to put that down because somebody may think I'm just being arrogant and stuff like that. And it's just like, that's not your fault on how they perceive that. Because if you know you're coming from a good place and this is something that you really need to help. You know, because there's a lot of times we have to be able to take cor corrective criticism. And we don't like that criticism that we're trying to correct. You know, and you have to be able to like, true that, true that. You know, because there'll be a lot of times universe will play something on us and God will play something on us. And we're like, you know, and be irritated. Like, I ain't about to do that. I don't want to be doing that. Okay, don't do it. But don't sit up here and complain about what you're tired of looking at, what you're tired of dealing with, what you're tired of struggling with, what you're tired of repeating yourself. Okay, because I gave you that insight for you to move forward. Now, this takes work for you to do. I'm not asking much of you because this is the better you, not better me. I'm already where I need to be at. I'm trying to get you there. You know, and it's like God is like our parent, you know. And it's like if it's nurturing towards you because he wants to see the best in you. He has the, he sees the potential in you. He's trying to get you to be able to see it within yourself. And these are the different things that is helping you grow. And you're on that whole new vibe. Like, you know, I'm, it's not like you you feeling yourself. Well, well, it may be good to feel yourself at the time. <laughs> because you can sit up here and tell yourself. Not in that feel yourself like I'm better than everybody else. I'm putting on a pedestal. You know, you, you looking at me, bow down. I'm not talking about stuff like that. I'm talking about you know how you didn't have faith in yourself at one point. You felt like everything that was coming coming into your life was breaking you down. It, you know, anything that was coming against you, it was going to overtower you. You felt like every enemy was coming against you was going to win. And now it comes to that point where you at that wake up vibe like, oh, hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some pimping in it. I got to have to be able to move. You know, if I want better in my life, I have to start acting better. I need to start viewing things better, speaking better, you know, seeing things better. You know, all these different things. And then when you know you start getting aggressive with that because you know in your worth. Because a lot of times we'll feel like, I deserve this, I deserve that, I deserve this. But are we putting the actions behind the energy to make that, you know, make that reality. Making it reality. Because it's so easy for us to focus on all the negative things that, you know, has done in our lives or what we feel like we should have had already, you know, missed opportunities. It's so easy to do that. It's so easy for us to be in that pessimistic vibe. It's so easy for us to be in that negative vibe. It's so easy for us to be in that comparison, envious, jealous vibe. It's easy for that. But when you start putting in work, when those things start coming up, it's telling you release that. Learn the lessons from that. Accept that for what it is. That has taught you something. That is helping you grow. This is helping you mold into something new. You know, you keep changing up on things. You know, there's going to be times that you, people are not going to accept your change. Okay? They still have that, that old version of you that they want to keep talking about to other people. You know, because a lot of times you got to understand when people don't like what's good about, they can't, they talk bad about you when they don't like what's good about you. They want to pinpoint other things. There will be some people like, Dad, they keep talking about this person so much. Let me go see what the heck they talking about. You know, and there going to be some people that's going to believe what they say. But there going to be some people that's going to be intrigued. Let me see what the heck this person talk about for them to be hating them so much. They be like, oh, Dad, they standing up on their own. They speaking their own truth. Now I can see what irritated them. You going to understand that. You know, when you at that point in your life where you're glowing up. You're growing up. You know you manifesting all kind of gems that you dropping. Not just to help you, but helping others. You know, these are the things that is like really going to help you. These are the things that's going to really manifest you. Hold on real quick, y'all. I think I hear my grandbaby. Hold on real quick. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. As soon as my grandbaby here, I hear I hear a noise. I'll be, Ugh, let me go see. But, um, yeah, you're going through all these different things where you're going to have people that is going to see the real you more than you see the real you. You know, a lot of times all we see is the headaches, the pain, the heartaches, you know, the hiccups of uh, mistakes and stuff like that. But it just seemed like people, there's a lot of people that will bring that confirmation like, oh, you're so strong. Or, you know, where where did you get this vibration from? Because it's like really comforting. You know, when there, there are some people that admire you, you inspire them. And I always tell people, my quote is like, you don't know your inspiration to inspire other people. Your story is going to help other people heal. You are that cheat sheet of a blessing that they've been praying for. You know, and you don't realize how many people are praying for you to be able to come into your life with the things that you have overcome from the things that you have healed from the things that you have manifest that you didn't realize you can manifest. 
You know, you became that. You that you that whole mood of an inspiration that is inspiring many people. Because when you can tell somebody, this is what I went through. These are the things that I faced. These are the things that I doubted within myself. The things that I didn't believe. The the patience I didn't have. And then you tell someone it went through that to that point where I placed myself in a in a corner. I did that. You know. I did that. Not my enemies. Not no voodoo. Not this. I did that. You know. Because you have control over everything. That, where you tend to move forward. And that is you. You know. And these are the things that. You know. All these things that was placed on me. It empowered me. And inspired me to create better. Like I know. My life can be a lot better than what I'm in right now. You know. Because it's like that devil, that energy will try to make you doubt yourself. You know, your your mind is a powerful weapon. That's the reason why things is, you know, matrix and illusions get heavy. You know, society, you know, materialistic things. Those are the things that cloud your mind where I feel like, uh, you know, why do they have that and I can't have that? You know, those different things that you're going through. But when you allow yourself to start manifesting, you are like a manifest a ghost though. You know, I'm making up my own word. You a whole, you know, getting the gusto, you know. And those are the different things. You, you, I mean, you a whole mood of, like, you just keep manifesting and manifesting and manifesting. Even if you're not exactly where you want to be at. But you got a visual. You making the moves to make that your reality. Regardless of what is going on around you, you made that. You know. And those are the different things that you're seeing. You know, I, I see a lot of the stuff where I used to give excuses. Or why I can't do this. Or why I can't do that. Oh, hold on real quick. My grandbaby called me again. <sighs> Alright y'all. Sorry about that. <laughs> when grandma duty calls. But yeah. You go through all these different things into your life. Where you see, instead of you seeing an issue. It gave you a, a solution. You know. Because we it, it's, it's like we can be that person. It's like to every solution there's always a problem. You can connect with other people. When there's every solution there's always a problem with them. And it's just the things that's showing you you're the problem solver. These things that's coming up into your life is teaching you. It's nurturing you. It's healing you. It's waking you up. You know, you're already woke, but it's just like more. you revealing. Because it's like we don't realize at times that it's like it's snatching veils off. And it's showing you a clearer picture on why certain things took place. You know, and then it gets, get, it gets to that mood where you're allowing yourself to be your own firecracker. Like, okay. These are the things that's happening. Is it out of my control? Yeah. Am I going to allow myself to keep focusing on that? No. Am I allowing myself to use that as, you know, a stepping stone for me to be able to cre create better? I'm going to do that. Is that correct? Yeah. So you start seeing different things that you're coming into where the life lessons end up being blessings to you in every way. And it's like when you start thinking on your own, you start believing on your own, you're not allowing yourself to let others define you. What they say about you doesn't matter, you know, to surface on how they feel about themselves. But you're appreciating, you know, all these different things because now you're noticing that old you is starting to dissolve, you know, because it gets to that point where you're not seeing negative and positive. You're just seeing. You're just saying it's a learning, you know, a learning opportunity, a healing opportunity. Anything that hits you with tragedy, upset, anger, anything like that, you're going to see that as a blessing because it showed you where your power was being placed at. It showed you where your focus was at. You know, there's different things that, that really shook you to the core. You know, that's anything. You know, everybody has different tragedies they're trying to move through. There's a lot of times we say, I'm okay. And, you know, and that's damaging to us, too, because it's okay to not be okay sometimes. The strongest people, you know, have weak moments. The most confident people got insecurities, you know, so it's okay to be able to do that. And where you're understanding, there's just people that are just not going to get you. That's okay. You know, people are not going to understand you. And there's going to be people that, you know, clearly like, that's my vibe. I like that vibe. That's a whole lot of gold moves I'm trying to get to. You know, you're going to be inspired by that. Because there's so many different people I connect with here. Or if I go on different channels and I love the energy they're projecting out. We, you know, it's like, I'm not, comp you know, I'm not competing against you. You know, but it, when you're showing me a whole new vibe of something... You know, or something I can learn from you. That That's encouraging to my soul. You know, it, it encourages that. And it allows me to be better than I was yesterday. Allowing me to be better than I was five minutes ago. 
these are the things that's nurturing my soul and let me grow. If certain things is disturbing my peace, it's allowing me to stay solid within my peace. If there's something I can take away, boop, it's gone. If something I need to really detach from, boop, it's gone. <laughs> Anything that I already know is going to be combative, boop, it's gone. And you're allowing yourself to do that because you're not wasting your time. You got more things that you'd rather do. You know, it's like, it's not saying, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And, you know, because it's like you're, you're creating that negative bubble around you. But when you're going to say, I got things that I'd rather be doing at this point. You know, there's better places that I'd rather be. There's better vibrations I'm trying to reach. There's pinnacles I'm trying to connect with. You know, there's top tier I'm trying to get to. You know, instead of saying, I got it this, I got it that. It's like, oh, I get a chance to heal myself in the ways that I, I deserve. Or I get a chance to be able to release something that is no longer serving me. I got a chance to appreciate what that situation brought me to. It broke me down, but it helped me build myself up. Because there's a lot of times we feel broken. And yes, we are breaking. Breaking away from illusions, breaking away from hurt, pain, all these different things. We're molding ourselves and saying that issue created a better me. That situation of pain created a better vibration of love and peace for myself. You know, those situations with other people, it did not allow me to, had to allow, allow me to not take it personal for what those things were, but it showed me the truth on what that situation was with that connection with me as it was with them. And I appreciate that because it allowed me to learn, it allowed me to grow, heal in whatever way is possible because you're going to see every answer. You hold that answer. We all do. You know, everybody got potential. Everybody got, you know, spiritual gifts, you know. But there's a lot of people that has not wanting to open that gift yet. There's a lot of people that have not reached that vibration where they're ready yet. And that's fine. Everybody is on their situation to where you grow. Even the worst things to where it really brought you pain. You, when you get to that vibration, you're praying. You know, you're praying for things. You know, there'll be different times where people just did anything and everything to me. And I wish the worst on them. And then realize when you placed that on them, when I placed that on them, I created that problem for myself. Now it's just like, let me allow blessings to flow through. Because everybody needs that in their life. Even when somebody's trying to create havoc in my life, I'm still going to be able to place blessings in your life. Because there's a lot of things I done did to some folks that they probably wish them worst on me. You know, because it's easy to play victim. You know, towards that. And it's not saying that these things didn't happen to you. But you can allow, you either can allow certain things to define you. Or you can allow that situation to define better. That happened for you. you creating something else better for that. You're not a victim. You're a victor. You're going to overcome whatever has been placed in your life. That's what's molding you. You know, and these are the things where it's guiding you towards that higher strength that you really hold. You know, and it's just allowing, keep showing up for yourself. Keep showing up for yourself because you're going to introduce a whole new you. You weren't expected because that's going to be the best version of yourself. And you're going to still be wanting to create something else. You're still trying to, you know, manifest something else in your life because that allows you to keep going, keep moving. And this is the reason why universe and God put you on that path. You ain't going to just settle for mediocre you ain't gonna just settle for being right there even though th this is where you wanted to be by the time you you got it by god and universe and from these experiences you have from the connection with people everything is gonna take you way past here so you surpass where you thought you were gonna be at and just for that you're gonna be itching for something else you're gonna keep going and you're gonna understand that that's gonna be your adrenaline rush because you're adding new things to your life you're adding more creativity because when universe start doing that and they see you that you moving in that spirit, they ask you to. Because a lot of times we wonder why things start getting heavier and heavier. Because if you didn't allow yourself to accept this situation for what it was, accept people for who they are, allowing yourself to let go and, you know, create something better for your life, forgiving them, forgiving yourself and appreciating what was taught to you. This is when the heat going to start going up because God knows if he didn't turn that heat up on you, you would have stayed right there. You, and just like if the fact is, you know you had a job you don't want to be at. You know, and this, you know, you start getting hit with subordinate papers, pink slips, you know, write-ups, you know, suspensions. People bring you in unnecessary drama or people saying that you don't brought some drama to them. God put that on you because the fact is he had something better deserving of you. You had to go through that experience. You had to be grateful for that, you know, because they brought you to something else. And a lot of times we're like, Dad, I lost my job, this and this and that. And, you know, people coming to me be like, Rosalind, I lost my job. And I said, first question I'm going to ask you, did you enjoy that job? 
when did you really feel fulfilled at that job? Well, no. Well, that's the reason why. Because you've been getting so many notifications. You know, been dropped to you saying, hey, I got something better for you. Like, nah, man, shoot, this 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 job give me good benefits or give me great pay. But, yeah, it. but you at that, you know, only time you have a good time is when there's holidays that you're off, paid leave that you're off. I forgot what they call that, uh, a furlough day, you know, or vacation time. That's the only time you're happy. When you're at that job, when you anticipate. I've known people at jobs, you know, I used to be that person. You know, I had to be able to talk to Uncle Bob, and that's why I used to call him Uncle Bob Marley. You know, I had to roll up one to deal with the folks I was dealing with because I wasn't trying to catch a case. I had to be don't worry, be happy type vibration. So when I had to get to that, and it was just like you shouldn't have to be able to, you, you shouldn't have to dabble in that just to be able to, you know, participate in something like that. You shouldn't have to drink. I've seen people drinking on the job. I already had the little shot bottles. In, in there, I'm like, damn, they taking shots up here, or even somebody was on the booger sugar, you know, just all up in that, you know, and you're not happy there when you have to self medicate to be dealing with different energies like that, you know, gonna be crazy as I don't know what people really thought I was hot, which I was, but it was just like I could be like that, my eyes don't have to get red, but as soon as I stepped in this building, my eyes were red as I don't know what, my blood pressure was up just because I was dealing with all that negative energy at my job. They're like, girl, you hot. Yeah, I'm hot. But shoot, you you ought to see how I am when I'm out on the job. Does my eyes get red like this? Like, girl, no. Okay, it's this building. It's these people. It's this energy. You know, it had to be that way. It had great pay, but all that energy wasn't worth it. You know, it wasn't worth it. But you're going through these different things. Where well, there's going to be a time that you're going to look back at everything you faced. Everything that brought you down. Everything that broke you. Everything that just made you cry. Everything that made you second guess your existence, your worth, your self love. All these different things. And you're going to be able to be appreciative of those things. Because those things reminded who you are and what you're not. You know, because a lot of times God will put you in things that he will show you what you are not. And what he's preparing you for for you to be. Or you are already, but you needed to be able to know that. You know, all these different things is reminding you of where change can take place, where healing can take place. You know, accountability, being honest with yourself. You know, because a lot of times we, we will sit up here and be trying to convince people and it'll be that type of vibration. Your higher self, like you try to convince them of yourself. You know, you, you ain't got to do that. You know, when you when you feel like you're being healed, you, you'll start moving like that. You'll start vibing like that. Because a lot of times, I remember it was, would be me. Where I really felt like I forgave a lot of different things in my life. And I really thought I did. You know, I really thought I did. Because I kept allowing myself, I forgive, I forgive, I forgive. But then that was that that pain was still festering that I didn't realize I done dead and out to. But when I allowed myself to full-fledged go into there, you know, with all armor of God on. And I allowed myself to let that mess break me down, make me cry, make me angry, ready to just suck everything in, in its source. And now I can allow myself to say, I'm not allowing myself to go through that vibration of wanting to focus on what people did to me or what, you know, what other people have done, you know, or what was said that hurt me, what, you know, messed my kids up with me and all those different things. I'm allowing myself to say, this showed me who I was. This showed me what I was destined to be, what I can become, what I can bring into my life, what I need to take out of my life, what I'm cutting away, what I'm bringing back, what I'm focusing on, what I'm closing shades on. And all those different things that made me recognize my power. And that's a dangerous thing. You know, being able to say, nobody can't dim my light. Nobody can't take nothing away from me. You know? These are the things that's adding towards my life. Whatever it needs to subtract, needs to subtract. I can't worry about that no more. You know, if it's something I'm needing and I'm asking God for, it's either I have already or it's on its way. And that letting you know that, that when you know you're a whole mood that keeps switching up. And I'm not talking about switching up where you night and day when you, you're negative and positive. But you switching up where, uh-uh, I can do better than that. Let me go ahead and add something else to it. Or let me let me go ahead and re, you know re, restart that. So I can go ahead and come back in and come correct with myself. You know, there's different things. I just had something happen a few, few, you know, an hour or two ago. And I'm like, ugh, I was frustrated. And now it's like, uh-uh, reset. You can do it again. That small thing to a giant. Go ahead and re go back and do that. It's all right. And I was just like, damn, yeah, it is. You know, it's out of your control. No, but you know, that was a test from God just to see if you're going to get impatient. You know, I'm dealing with my granddaughter right now. I love keeping her over here. You know, I may have to pause for the call. I'm like, hey, y'all, I got to hold up. And I love her being over here. That's my baby. That's my whole heart. 
You know, and I got to multitask. It's okay. If y'all say, shoot, I was a mom of three girls, and they were like stair steppers. It was like three, you know, and had those at the beginning. They're like, girl, you young for having those. I said, my oldest one about to be 30. You know, my other one, she about 25, 26, you know, and my youngest one about to be 22, you know, and now I got a grandbaby about to be five. You know, I was like, girl, I got them out early, you know, and it was just like I had to jiggle all that. I can do that as well. You know, it's a challenge within yourself and it's showing you what you are capable of doing if you're willing to do that. You know, because a lot of times it, it would be the, I would be that type of person at that point where it could be that one negative thing. And I'm like, you know what, F it. I don't want to do nothing today. I don't want to do that. And not realizing that was God telling me, you need to beat you are pressure. I'm adding you to this pressure because you are pressure. I want to show you what you can do. You know, you can do anything based in God's eyes. You can do that. You know, they see the, you know, they see the potential in us. They see how bright our light is. They see how big our heart are, you know, and those th different things where they're showing us where boundaries need to be set, where no means no, you know, don't feel like you obligated to do anything. You know, if it's not pleasing your soul, step away. If it ain't nurturing your mind or your heart, step away. If it's not worthy of you, step away. And when you're allowing yourself to be going through that instead of going against what is happening, because a lot of times our, our, where our issues is because we place, place resistance on change. Because we don't like being challenged like that. When we, you know, we're on to an uncomfortable vibration because number one, we're high. We're like, we're really up there high. Because it's just like a lot of times we don't realize, you know, I want this in my life. I want that in my life. This is how you're getting it. Because you manifesting, writing goals down. You got a manifesting vibration like you have a bucket list on what you're trying to manifest into your life universe already got that plan for you but it's not going to be you ain't going to be moving through like you thought you were you know you want to be able to heal and go strong and want to be confident in yourself i'm gonna start putting you in different situations where you either gonna ride by you know ride by faith or ride by doubt you know i'm gonna put people on you that's gonna intimidate the mess out of you that will make you go through that person you fear no man no, I'm a God-fearing person. You got to be able to fear no man. I'm going to allow people to put so many different things on you. Make you, you know, make you feel like, you know, all these things that happen at you coming at once. Disturbing your sleep. Giving you headaches. You know, making you feel doubt about yourself. Feeling like you, or everything is over. And I'm going to give you that point. I say it's over when it's over. If you want to take yourself out, you ain't going to be able to take yourself out. You know, you have these near-death experiences all you want to. This is very rhetorical for you. You live it. You're guided by me. You're protected by me. You know, and you all allow yourself to move forward, not worrying about if people don't misunderstand you. You know, a lot of times you don't realize you're a whole confusion within a confusion. You're a whole enigma, a conundrum. Things that, you know, you switching up all the time. They're like, oh, somebody said you were this, this, and that. Baby, I was like that five years ago. They ain't updated yet. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> you know, I'm like, who is that person? I don't even, that's like you breaking into an old house I don't even live in. You know, why are you going there? I don't live there no more. You know, and, and it's just telling you all these different things. You know, within your life, you have to understand when you start moving, you start getting more confident within yourself. You start allowing yourself to be selective about what you, you what kind of circle you keep, what kind of energy you're allowing in, into your sacred place, your, even your vessel. When you start doing that, there's going to be a lot of people that's just not going to like you. There's going to be a lot of people that's just going to want to wreak havoc on you just because of the fact that you can't be manipulated like you used to. You can't be issued on like you used to. You can't be a punching bag, doormat like you used to be. You know, prepare for you to have your name all out in the streets as being the most negative monster it can possibly be only because you set up for projecting all peace and love. You have to understand that. It's okay. If they want to believe it, hey, let them believe it. You know, they want to go ahead and do that. Allow them to go through that. You know, I know what I define in me. I know who I am. I know what pinnacles I'm trying to reach. I know what vibration I'm trying to go through. I know what God I serve. You know, and when you're allowing yourself to be sure of that, baby, you can't be shook. Sure. You can't even be disturbed. Like, oh, that's what you did? Okay. Observe. Took note. Up here. Keep moving. <laughs> Ain't going to be like that. So allow yourself to appreciate the process you're going through. And a lot of times it's hard to do that. You know, because when you're dealing with so many different things. But they tell you anything that you're going through that may, may be harsh to you. May be hurting you. May be, you know, really breaking you down. is because it, you're birthing out something new. It, it took that war 
to be able to remind you who you were. It can't somebody can't just knock on your door and give you a welcome mat or, or, or a cake or something like that. Welcome to the neighborhood. No, they had a bum rush. You know, and knock the holy hell out of you just for you to understand, hey, this is not who you be, ain't the place you're going to be at, it ain't the vibration going to be at, and it ain't that level. You know, th that's how they had to show you. You know, they can't politely come up and just tell you, hey, there's something new for you. You want to, you know, you want to find this experience? What the heck? Okay, whatever. You know, something wrong. You know, all those different things, they had to come at you in an unexpected way. You know, your life started changing when there was havoc to start coming in there. And it came out like a power search, you know, and you needed that. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, these three things. And Angelfish, much love to you as well. And Wildflower, much love to you as well. If you're new to my channel, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, I leave my contact information in the description box below. Um, I always tell people, you know, hey, if you got issues or anything that you may be going through, you know, on a spiritual level, you know, or just needing somebody to talk to, you know, hit me up. I don't, I don't go out reaching for, out for people. I know people are like, hey, Rosalind, I got a problem. Can you DM me? I don't do that. You know, because I feel like if there's really something serious you want to be able to talk to me, contact me. Hey, I'm all ears. <laughs> you know, I'll be able to help you out either from the experience I had or from what universe has guided me towards to give you as well. You know, and whatever we speak on is confidential, you know, and I help out the best way I can. And um, I leave the contact. Uh, I said the uh, contact. I leave the link to my, my um, podcast. That's what I meant to say to Spotify as well. It's not the same as that I do on the videos. The same content, but it's not, you know, I know a lot of people that do podcasts, they're doing the videos, and then they do it in, in a podcast form. It's just two different things. So it, you can get the best of both worlds. You can listen to one or you can just hear the other one. You know, well, watch one, hear the other one. You know, all those different things. Um, also, if you feel generous enough to drop a donation, Cash App is there as well. And, you know, whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, you know, I'm placing beautiful vibrations on you just to be able to understand that whatever God is about to place into your life is going to bring you to your knees. Even if you wanted to stop the blessings because they got overwhelming, it's not going to stop. It's going to keep flowing until God feels like it's ready. And, you know, you'll understand why, you know, why the enemies attack so much, why you had to keep being denied, delayed for a while. You know, even when you feel like giving up, it could be the day you've given up and the next, you know, you win in tomorrow. Allow yourself to stay consistent and persistent because you never know. You know, blessings is coming to you, at least when you expect it. Even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, by frequencies. You never know. All those things can really take somebody a long way. And, you know, be safe and responsible at every single thing you do. Much love. Peace.